And how about Matt Boldy? The Wild are 11, 1 and 1 since he was called up from the American League. He has changed this team, given them depth on offense, and they are really going a stinker the other night in Winnipeg. They'll try to get it right tonight. He's a menace off the rush. Ken and White for the Panthers. And he has the puck now. Barkoff, one-timer. Talbot makes a big save. Whacked out of the air by Brodeen. It'll be icing if it makes it, but here comes Bobrovsky. Fiala, he can go. 22, right through the defense. Drops it back. Nice pucker save. Bobrovsky on Hartman. Polino back to Brodeen. Nice little pass, Brodeen. Goudreau off the post. Post number one for the Wild. Sturm. He can really wheel number seven. Oh, good short side shot. High and wide. Merrill towards it and tipped. Save Bobrovsky. Bobrovsky tracking well early. And the other point you made earlier about the Panthers being good on the rush. The Minnesota Wild are going to have to make sure their forwards are doing a good job. A little shorthanded on defense with Matt Dumba out, so pay attention to that. Watch out! Save Bobrovsky. Spurgeon shot it right into his belly. Sauces over to Zuccarello on the other side. No look past Spurgeon. Shot pass. Score! <laughs> Shot pass off to the side. Kaprizov snuck to an area where Bobrovsky couldn't find him. Snuck around the net. Good little dump pass there by Zuccarello. Head up by Spurgeon. And there's Kaprizov who came around the net. Merrill right here thinks there's nobody on the back side. Don't know if there's communication. Probably not. And the problem with this right here, watch the stick positioning of Talbot. It goes off the stick on the inside and the spin of the puck. From the green tees for Kaprizov. This will be icing? No, deflected off of Talbot. Just a little bit. Play continues, and the Panthers have it. Lundell in. Cross score! It's Marshman again! What a play by the young Finn, Anton Lundell, number 15. Beautiful feed wow. underneath the stick, and Marchman with his second of the game, and keep in mind, Marchman had a huge game before the break. He had six points in Columbus. And two goals so far. ...with Parise and Suter, but they can supplement that with some low-paying young players. Maybe make the right deal. And do they go for it now before the dead money really kicks in? In front, open! No, oh, it stays out! What a play! It looked like that was an easy goal! A guaranteed goal for Carter Verhage. This is it right here. What a feed by Duclair. And then watch Spurgeon. Oh, yes. Oh, my goodness. Stick. Kaprizov not able to locate for Hagee. For Hagee thinks he's got the empty net. You're doing a much better job in your own zone in front of your goaltender and try to get going in the other direction and get more pucks on Sergei Bobrovsky at the other end. And that was our game recap. They outshot the Panthers 8-2. Off the post! Gudis looking for his first of the year. That was a direct hit that echoed throughout the arena. To miss the Panthers, but a good job by Florida to, to retrieve this puck in the zone, and then Gudis gets it to the net. It's Spurgeon, yeah, it's Spurgeon up top that doesn't allow Talbot. Not Spurgeon's fault, I mean, as a goal. Hornquist up with Bennett and Huberto in this game. Uyghur's got room, fakes. Ekblad, shot. No, it doesn't get to Talbot. Huberto has it, leads the league in assists. Hornquist down low off the side of the net. Bennett, that's a high stick, but follow through, not called. Zuccarello having a conversation. Already minus two. Ekblad, I get off the post. Another post for the Panthers. Old Emily Kaplan, he's got one hat trick in his pro career in the American League. One down, down low. Marshman had another chance for a goal. The puck is finding 17 in white. He has it again. It's relentless pressure by the Panthers here that's leading the turnovers in for the Wild. They're going to have to find ways to... In front, can't bring it home. Brody just won. Fiala open that. What a save. Bobrovsky got the big left pad over and denied Fiala on the doorstep. Penalty coming up. Tie the hockey game. Kevin Fiala off the end boards. And I talked about the athleticism, athleticism and the ability to wow. be acrobatic. Look, I mean, at, look at that. Duclair back to Ekblad walking the line. Wrist shot in front, free! Huberto can't get grasped of it. Passes over Duclair! Score! The NHL assist leader.
putting on the top line by his head coach, Andrew Burnett, and it pays off with a goal. It certainly does. And they regroup, were able to enter the zone, the redirect by Huberto is, that's what's important. It didn't allow Talbot to come up with a clean save, and then after that, it's... There's Carlson again. Oh, here comes Hornquist in alone. Shot saved by Talbot. Brodine was chasing down Hornquist. He had to shoot. He was running out of space. Late developing. Carlson comes in. Throws it across to Huberto. Back in front. Reinhardt denied by Talbot. And denied Carlson. It transitions the other way. And Talbot with a terrific right toe save and then a follow-up save. Back to Spurgeon. Head up. Shot. Again, looking to make a pass in front. Save. Bobrovsky. Bowley rebound. Zuccarello was denied by Bobrovsky. To generate, you got to bet that Bobrovsky is going to be tested here in this third period. Let's see if he can continue to hold the fort. Panthers haven't lost a game this year, leading after four. That was a magical run early in the Panthers' existence. Duclair, Ekblad, they're set up now. Ekblad walks in, wrist shot, score! Aaron Ekblad, Norris Trophy candidate, the twisted wrister for Ekblad, and that sometimes that's all you need here. He just walks, walks, they, they leave him alone, oh. and this is one that Talbot has to come up with. It goes through the arm, and it's just one of those shots that has a goal. Get this place going. See if the Wild can get set up and start some pressure right away. Ekblad's out there. Bench run score! Florida Panthers with a two-goal lead against the Wild. who have been so good at home, so good against Eastern teams. Huberto to make it a three-goal game again? No. No call from behind. For Jacques Lanier, sometimes wouldn't pull the goal into about 30 seconds left. <laughs> he was really conservative. Here's Dean Evanson with over seven minutes to go. Better win these races. You better win these races. Carter Verhage. 16th of the year and once again it's a three goal game and he told Kip Talbot to stay where you are he's not going to put it back in now either he just conceived for the for the while just not clean passes in the feet and then Verhage's able to win the race against Hartman and is able to put it in the empty great to see Duclair back on the bench net empty puck in Trick first of his NHL career for Mason Marchment hugs all around the 26 year old the long road of the ECHL 130 AHL games well here it is right off the face off Marchman able to get a step on Hartman and the East. that'll do it in St. Paul the Florida Panthers the wagon keeps rolling they do it again best team in the East Second best to the Colorado Avalanche. And Mason Marchman has the game of his young NHL career.